Hi everyone, my name is Ikra. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back with another unboxing video of me trying out a new product for the first time. I will be trying out the Essence Vault. They are a UK based fragrance company that sell perfumes inspired by high-end designer brands for way cheaper than what it would cost if you would buy the original. They make sure to let you know that their scents are only inspired and not an exact copy, probably because of legal reasons. I only found out about it because of targeted Instagram ads. The algorithm did its magic and I fell for it. I think I was targeted because earlier this year, I did subscribe to The Scent Addict offered by The Fragrance Shop, which is another famous UK perfume shop that is known for selling high-end designer original perfumes. So with Scent Addict, it was £12 a month and every month I could choose a new perfume that would come in these small little 8ml bottles. And with my first purchase, I could also get this atomizer, which would help me use the perfume. The toughest part has to be figuring out how to replace these bottles in this atomizer. I, I would push and pull and try all sorts of things. But when I finally figured out that all you have to do is literally twist and take that out and replace, I was mind blown. So it's a very sleek design and really easy to use. And I was quite happy with the subscription because I was getting to try Valentino, Bon Roma Donna and Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, just £12 a month, but the quantity was really less. They're almost gonna get over, but I was quite happy with the subscription and it's really easy to travel with it as well. But when I got the ad for the Essence Vault, they were selling full-size 100ml bottles for way cheaper, whereas I was spending £12 for 8ml bottles. The difference in price was way too big, so I had to try out and see what the actual difference is in experience, in the smell, and if it's actually worth it or not. The way I think about it is it's perfume at the end of the day. All you can make perfume out of is ingredients that probably do not cost as much as how much the brands cost. So I do have hopes and expectations that the Essence Vault is worth switching over to, but I really, really wanted to put it to as much of an accurate and unbiased test. So I ordered myself a box of sample sizes from the Essence Vault. The box is very uninspired, but I don't really mind that. Oops. So it's just this. It's quite funny that they also have TikToks. I'm sure they advertise in there as well. I think all the four samples are inside here. Oh, they're tiny. Oh my God. So those are the four samples that I ordered. In total, it costed me £16, which is including shipping. And also I got to apply a discount code that helped me reduce the price a little less. Now, in order to run this experiment as accurately as possible, I also went ahead and ordered original perfumes two of the four samples the original versions from the perfume shop this box is a lot more fancier than the essence vault but i guess you paying for it now for the perfume shop they didn't really have any samples that they were selling so i had to order full original size bottles of the designer perfumes and how it works is you get to use the sample size which is only one to two ml that you get for free and if you don't like it then you can return the full size bottles but they have to be packaged and unopened and it makes sense because the original full size bottles are 140 pounds so i'm sure i'm going to return the full size bottles that are in this but the sample size at least will help me test the original ones compared to the essence vault so let's unbox this as well Okay, so inside a box you get another box that's attached. Oh my goodness! And it's now time to reveal the perfumes that I'm going to be testing out. 
Right, so pardon my pronunciation because these perfume names are definitely French or very exotic. So I don't know if I'll be pronouncing them correctly. But from the Essence Vault, I got four samples. The first one is perfume inspired by Black Opium YSL. Second one was inspired by La Vie Est Belle Lacombe. Third one was Aventus for her. And fourth one was Love, Don't Be Shy. I think the only reason I got that was because of the name. It was very inspiring. So I have no idea, I've never used these four perfumes ever in my life, so I have no idea what they smell like. And most importantly, the two from here, so Black Opium and La Vie Estebelle, I've also got the original versions in front of me. There, see, it's just paper packaging. Um, and once you tear them, this is the sample size that I'll be working with. And this is, did they tell you how much? Yeah, it's just 1.2 ml. Tiny, almost the size of my earrings. So this is the black opium and this is the lacum. Let me know if you've ever heard of these perfumes before and if I am butchering the pronunciation. And I can also show you the full size bottles that are so, so freaking expensive. Um, so the Black Opium by YSL, 30 ml, that costs 75 pounds, insane. And La Vie Est Belle La Home, again, 30 ml costs 65 pounds. And from the Essence Vault, I hope they've labeled everything they have. It's pretty much just stick-ons and the bottles are very uninspiring, but who cares as long as it smells good. Oh, instead of even putting the effort to name them, they literally just have numbers and in the site, you get to sort of map out which sample is which one. 82 is Black Opium and 144 is La Vieste Belle, uh, which again, I have the original for. So these are the two perfumes I'll be comparing against. <laughs> The two that I don't have any originals for, I just want to test it out and see if they even smell good. But yeah, let's just test 75, which is Aventus for her. Do you shake while... Well, okay, I'm gonna just place it here. It's, it's not coming out. Mmm, oh. I don't like the smell. It's very, oh, it smells different every time I smell. So the first time I smelled it, it was very like mouthwash smelling. But now that I smell it, it's quite nice. It's like, it's like peppermint and daffodils were merged together to have a baby. And this is what this would smell like. Yeah, so the first hit is very like, ugh. But then the more it settles in, there are like different notes. Is that what it's called? Okay, uh, good enough. But I don't think I like this enough to purchase like a full bottle of. Let's also try out 112, which is Love, Don't Be Shy. I'll spray it in on this hand. I don't know if that makes a difference. Okay, and then probably just like leave it for some time. Ooh, I really like the smell of this. It reminds me of like red velvet cake. Yeah, this has like a lot like smoother. Uh, I don't know. The only thing that I can imagine smelling this is this red velvet dress. Not even red velvet cake, but this red velvet material. material. It has a really smooth smell. <laughs> That's the best I can describe it as. Yeah. I don't know if I could say this is what love would smell like. Not really. But the moment I smelled this, there, this picture of this lady wearing this drapey red velvet dress came to mind. Yeah. Yeah, definitely don't like this. This is really good. But again, this is so subjective. So this is like sharp and this is round. If, if I had to describe it using shapes. You know what would be cool? If I would smell a perfume and then let my brain just draw 
whatever it's imagining after the smell. That would have been a really cool experiment. If I were to spell Aventus by her, I would make these spiky, sharp looking drawings. Whereas the moment you spell 112, love don't be shy, that would make me make these bubbles and like waves and rounded sort of shapes. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, the only way to understand is if you actually get them and let me know if you agree with my opinion. Now coming to the two sample sizes that I do have the original for, what I'll do is put them in four different pieces of paper and then see if I can clearly make out which one is which. So I'll be back. Right, so what I've done here is created four pieces of paper and I have Black Opium Original, Black Opium Essence Vault, Estebel Original, Estebel Essence Vault. I'll pretty much spray it, turn it around and then swap it and see if I can guess. So I have my experiment set up. I will just, I have no idea. I tried my best to shuffle it without knowing which one is which. So I'm gonna go smell it and first of all match the smells. So this is the first one. Oh, this is a very faint smell. You can know what this is, but it, this gives me, yeah, it's very subtle and not that powerful. The best way I can describe this is like a flowery field with clothes drying, like that sort of memory is what this is giving me. Very different to Love Don't Be Shy and uh, what was it? Aventus. But I've, yeah. But it's very subtle. I, I like something a little more powerful. This is the second one. Oh, this is very like coffee. Yeah, this is instantly like coffee and chocolate. My nose is like overstimulated right now. I feel like after this, I won't be able to smell anything. Uh, so the first, those two are definitely different. I'm sure of it. I, I hope so. Because one was very coffee and the other one is very field, like a paddy field. Okay, so this is the third one. Oh, what? This is, this is similar to the first one, I think. Yeah, uh, let me grab the first one. Okay, so again, this one is very sharp and very like, ugh, like it, it's not that great. But this is, this has a very lingering, soft smell. So if, I don't know which one's again, which one is which, but I wouldn't prefer this, I would prefer this. This is a lot more like softer than the sharp smelling one. But also this is stronger. This I can barely smell it anymore because this is very overpowering. So I feel like compared to this one, this is very subtle. Now I'm like struggling to even smell anything from here. Whereas this I can still smell it. So again, I have no idea which one is which but I feel like these two are supposed to be the same perfume or one is supposed to be inspired by the other. Okay, uh, finally I feel like this is probably the coffee one. No, this is not coffee at all. I don't like the smell at all. Again, this is very sharp. Whereas this one, oh, this was coffee. This is so good. I don't know, if, you, if you're a coffee lover, this one is definitely a really good pick. And this one just smells like aftershave, very, again, like very spiky, porcupine feeling. I hate this. I hate this one, whatever this one is. But this one, again, it's really like, um, like round. I think I like more rounded, smoother feeling smells rather than sharp ones. But I can't, I don't think these two smell the same at all. So I don't know. That's so hard. I'm definitely not sure if... Okay, but if I had to pick, this one would be the better option. Yeah. But this is very specific to like coffee lovers or somebody that likes to be, likes to smell like coffee. I don't think I'm someone like that. But these two don't smell the same. What is going on? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm gonna smell all of them again and see what's going on. All four of them smell the exact same. 
I mean, all different. What is going on? I'm so confused by my. I thought it would be really easy to pick at least the similar smelling ones, but it's not. This one's the only one that's very distinct. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna look now. Okay, see and see what this is. Oh, this is the black opium original one. So I definitely prefer this over the essence vault one. I think. Huh? This is not even black opium. What? I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even match it correctly. Okay, now I feel like I feel so stupid. No, do oh these are not the same ones. So, which one is what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so apparently this one is supposed to be black opium essence world, and this one's supposed to be black opium original. But this is this is very coffee caramel tasting, whereas this one. No, I mean I like the smell of this, but it's still not same at all. So if I had to go for the smells, definitely Black Opium Original would be my pick. Whereas Estbel, Estbel Essence Vault and Original, uh, definitely prefer the Essence Vault because the Original one is very like sharp and overpowering. But I don't like both the smells. Yeah, no. So I feel like I pick black opium, um, original, the best. Then comes yeah, black opium essence vault. Then I guess Estabel essence vault, and finally my least liked smell is Estabel original. But my most favorite has been. Love, don't be shy. Okay, that's all for this video. I guess if you ever spot me in real life, you might catch me smelling like love, don't be shy because I really like that smell. And I think I made the right choice by ordering samples before I commit to a original size bottle. I think it was worth it. It's not like there was a clear winner or a clear loser for the original or the essence fault and that was my review i don't know if it was too chaotic or not hope this was fun let me know if you've ever tried any of these perfumes before if you've ever heard of the essence vault take care subscribe please do subscribe like this video if you if you like the video dislike it if you didn't like the video catch you on the next video okay bye Thank you, George, for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, thank you.